Hey everyone, so tonight I'm doing a review on the Marvel Legends Series 2 thing. This was requested by a viewer a while ago. Um, just haven't had time, so finally getting to it. So hopefully he's uh, looking forward to this. <laughs> it's actually a pretty cool thing. It's very basic articulation. It's one of the, it's, you know, it's Series 2 of Marvel Legends, so it's when they're kind of uh, first starting out. So it's got kind of, you know, bulkier chunks, but the sculpt is really nice. So is the paint applications. And it's got some interesting little things on them that... Um, weren't really done on many legends besides like the series one uh, Hulk. So the one finish up is 360. I do not have his base accessory, which is basically a breakaway wall. All right, guys, so first off, we'll start off with the head sculpt. So the head sculpt's got a really cool, he's got these really broad eyebrows compared to the other uh, things that we've gotten in the past. Look, but I do not have any of the box set things. I just have the Fantastic Four Classics and the Legendary Riders thing. I do not have the new Walgreens one either, so I won't have them to do a comparison. But once I do get the Walgreens one, I will do a comparison. But it's got a really, you know, it's got a really nice sculpt. You can see the nice black wash over there. He's got the blue eyes. Even though one eye on mine seems to be um, more darker blue, the other one looks more white. Uh, where this one looks more blue. But overall, the sculpt looks really good. You know, you can, you know, it's got a good thing uh, head sculpt there. So I just think that looks really cool. But I like how all the shaping of the stone is different. So I think that's really cool. So I'll zoom in a little bit more so you can see it. And come over the body here. It's very uh, smooth, but it's got a nice uh, texture to it. Um, but kind of, it's just got a great sculpt. Like you can really, it really looks like, you know, a stone body. I think it looks really cool. I and mean, it doesn't have, you know, it doesn't have a crazy amount of articulation, but it kind of hides. It's up back here, it gets kind of bulky. But um, overall, I mean, the, the stone look looks really good. It goes all the way around. And again, like I said, it doesn't really, so you can look over here, it doesn't mirror. So it's got like a little heart shape over here where you don't really see another heart shape on this arm. So it's pretty cool how they did that. I think it makes it look really unique doesn't have like uh, the number four on his shorts or anything, but he's just got the nice uh, dark blue shorts, little black wash on the wrinkles and a little black belt. I mean, all this looks really cool. I really like the black wash over the stone. It really gives it some good depth. He has three fingers <laughs> and thumb and coming down on the legs here. So you can just see, I mean, it's, it's, it's quite, it's nice. It's definitely got, yeah, you know, out of the other Toy Biz figures I have a thing, he definitely has the most um, paint detailing out of the three I have. So I just think that looks really cool. So I'll go ahead and go over the articulation. So his head looks left and right. It's on a ball joint, so you can look up and down, kind of wobble each side to side. It's got a hinge at the shoulders, so you can move up and down, forward and back. He also has a crazy, I guess, shoulder blade joint because look at this thing it's kind of crazy how this looks so definitely i mean you can get them to go forward but man if you do a back shot you just have this gaping hole but it's, it's it's an interesting piece of articulation you don't usually see that on toy biz figures let alone hardly any figures that i believe on toy biz really did that um no bicep swivel it's got a single joint at the elbow so it blends up about that much it's got rotation at the wrist and then each finger is a bendy wire, just like the series one Hulk. So you can kind of see the little holes for the bendy wires. Um, so you can, you know, bend his fingers as you please. They're not really, I guess, joint articulation, but they, you can see you can bend them around. Both hands are that way. Uh, it does have a, um, like an ab swivel kind of ball joint. So you can kind of rotate them around and get them side to side. Crunching forward, he doesn't really crunch forward. He kind of tends to spring backwards. He can arch back, but you can get that little gap. He's got a waist swivel. Uh, his legs can kick forward and back. Not really go back, it gets hindered by his uh, butt cheek there. But he can kick forward or stomp forward on this side. So you can see, but no, uh, it, he's not able to spread or anything. He does have an upper thigh swivel, single jointed knee. So it bends about that. Not very much, bent about that much. He also has a uh, hinge up and down on the ankle. He also has the old school ankle rocker. 
does have door articulation and peg goes to the bottom of his feet. Again, with the base, it's not really a base. It's more of a accessory. Um, it's like a graffitied stone gray wall with green graffiti on it. And it just smashes into a couple pieces. Um, I wasn't able to dig mine out. I thought I had it like up, you know, close by, but I did not. So if I find it again, I will definitely do it. I don't even think I have all the pieces though anymore. But we're going to show you guys how tall uh, thing is. Oops. All right, sorry about that sloppiness. Uh, so thing stands right or a little over seven inches. It is about right at seven inches tall. And here he is next to the legendary riders thing. Wow, these guys are not standing up, are they? Stand up. So you can just see the paint detailing is so much different. He's just mainly orange. There's a little bit of, you know, paint along the sides of the rims here, but he's got it all over. And then here he is next to the Fantastic Four Classics uh, thing, which this is my favorite still, but it looks really cool. You can definitely see the height comparison. He's a little just more uh, bulky and definitely he's the shortest. Got a bunch and he's not a bad thing either, but um, definitely this guy is my favorite until probably until I get the Walgreens one. But I hope that's what you wanted to see. If you wanted to see other comparisons, uh, leave a comment. Um, but yeah, so there's my review on the Series 2 uh, Toy Biz Marvel Legends thing. Hope you guys liked it. Please leave a comment, hit the like button, and subscribe if you haven't. Take care. Bye.